I've been doing it for the other people do it. This is how I do mine. Go on Google, select an image, and I'm going to choose an easy one. Copy, and I'm going to paste it in Silhouette. And then we're going to come over to the Trace feature. Select Trace Area. And trace it. We can delete this. Okay, now this already has a border, but we don't want that border. So we're going to release compound path and we're going to delete that outside border. We're going to make our own. So I'm going to select that and come over here to the offset panel. I'm going to choose offset. Now mine is set at 0 0.325 and I think that's big enough so I'm going to select that. Apply. Now that gives me the first border. I'm going to leave it selected. I'm going to go back select offset again. Leave that number the same. Hit apply. Now we have two offsets. Now we can resize it down. Oops. Select all three and resize it. Now, I already have one over here that I already have sized. So I'm going to keep this one. I don't need this one, so I'm going to delete it. Now that we have that one, now we need to color. Now, I already have my images here. I did, I'm going to do nine of these bigger ones and nine of the little ones. So, I'm going to select that inside and we're going to color it. Come over to our color palette. And because I already have mine colors already set, I'm just going to fill it in with the colors I already have for my little one. Now, if you can see, there is a red cut border around there. We don't need that, that red line. We can get rid of that. So, we're going to go up here to the cut line, and we're going to select this box here and take that red cut line out. You can leave it if you choose. It doesn't matter, but I, I turn it off. Now we're going to lay our pieces on the, the board. Now I don't use a background block. I use my mat because my mat is a 12 by 12 already. So I'm gonna use my mat as my border or my boundary. And I'm going to move this to the edge. Now I want my pieces over my border on this side. I always do this side first. So I'm going to take my pieces and lay them over and I'm going to turn and manipulate them in different directions so they're all different. Now you can bring them down so they drop off the bottom. You can move it up, whatever. I do this first because this will give me my seamless because I'm going to cut it and move the pieces over here. So from here, I take my knife tool and I line it up with this edge of the mat on that black line. I hold down my shift key and I draw the line down to cut a straight line. If you hold your shift key, it'll stay straight. Okay, now we're gonna select these pieces that we just cut, and we're gonna move them from this side to this side. Now I'm gonna use the arrow key on my keyboard because it'll keep everything 
straight where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, doing it freehand, I never get them lined up right. So I use the arrow key on my keyboard. And it'll take it a good minute to get across, but it's the easiest way for me to do it. It'll keep everything lined up doing it this way. These are going to go right here along this edge. And I'll show you at the end how what I mean by the seamless. So when you wrap this around your cup, this side will match with this side perfectly. Almost there. Okay, now that these are here and these are here, now we can take these other ones and put them up here. On the wherever for now. Okay. Now we're gonna... We want them going different directions. We want them to overlap. I'm not too worried about these big ones overlapping because that's what we got the smaller ones for. I just don't want two together going the same direction. I want them different. Okay. And then we'll move the little ones over. And you try to keep the colors apart. I mean, you don't want too many green together. And So you get the idea. I have this already done on this board. Okay. Now I'm kind. Of, I'm happy with how this is laid out. And all my pieces are okay, I guess. And then you can adjust them if you need to. You want to be careful with whoops, uh, your spaces, your negative space, I guess it's going to be. You don't want your space too small. So when you're happy with your layout and everything is where you want it to be, Now we need to trim it up. You notice there's pieces that stick in above the border here and down here. So we're going to use our knife tool. We're going to line it up here at the top. Hold the shift key down and slice. And we're going to do the same for the bottom. Lining up 
but not bottom line. Hold the shift key down and slice. Now we're gonna go back and we're going to delete these top edges. trimmed and square. I'm going to select all and group. And then we're going to go over here to the transform tool. And we're going to select this sideways bar and we're going to resize it. We want to undo the padlock and we're going to make this 12.000 and this 12.000 and click apply and it resized our image now to 12 by 12 and it fits on our mat just perfect okay this is what I mean by the seamless background that this side match with this side we're going to duplicate this and pull this over here and if you can get it wrapped around your cup perfectly, the right way, it's going to match up and be seamless. You can't see where the seam is. It doesn't matter if you put it on that side or this side. It's gonna match perfectly okay so we don't need that that was just to show you so okay come back over and we're going to select it and we're going to ungroup now we're going to keep ungrouping until you can't no more see how this is grayed out so everything is a single piece I'm going to select everything Come over here to the modify panel and we're going to select subtract all now it's going to cut this out so when you go to cut your cut lines won't overlap and I'll show you hit the send tab up here go to the send tab you see how there's they don't overlap right here I missed one if you don't select or subtract all this is what you end up with this line will cut so wherever these cut lines are you're gonna have all separate pieces we don't want that so we want to go back to the design Take it a second here. It's being slow. Okay. Now this is what you end up with. All separate pieces. You get back to your send tab. This will show you what will cut and how it'll cut. No more overlapping pieces. So when it cuts this for this red part here, the blue be cut. Okay. Otherwise, 
I'll show you. Let's back everything back up. Okay. If you don't do the subtract all, <coughs> this is what your pattern will look like. <coughs> All of those lines are cut, and you'll have a big mess on your hand. So, we want to make sure. Now, notice right here is a little tiny piece of green sticking out. I don't want that. So, I want to move that up a little bit. Just to make it easier to get a hold of that green. So, go back over. Subtract all. to do its thing. There. Okay, now if we're happy with that, we can go over here to File, Save As, Save the Hard Drive. The mine's already named Puzzle Piece, SVG. Rename it to Puzzle. Click OK. Yeah, so. <coughs> now you can also do Save As, Save the Hard Drive if you have Business Edition. And save it as a PNG if you have the Business Edition. Click OK. Select this box for transparent background. We're going to change this number, dots per inch, to 300.00. And click Save. And that's it.